Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about import and export of DXF from inside AllCAD and Allegro PCB Editor. So it's available in all levels of the tools. Um, you can obviously do an import DXF under the import MCAD DXF. Uh, and an Allegro license it's file import MCAD DXF. And then the export is under the export MCAD DXF options. So we'll start off with an, uh, an import option. So literally, I'm going to do a file new board. We'll do a new board. Let's just call it test. Um, the important part with the DXF import is obviously the 00, zero location because it uses the same 00, zero location um, from the DXF data as the 00, zero location inside PCB editor. So you need to make sure that your design canvas is big enough to kind of take on your, your working area to, to bring in your DXF file. Um, so that's one thing to set. Um, we can do that from setup design parameters. Uh, on the design tab, there's the size, and you can pick the size of the working area. So that you may get errors if you haven't got a big enough working area. But um, in general, to make, make sure the working area is big enough and or bigger than your DXF import, and you should be fine. And then what we'll do is we'll then use the import MCAD DXF. We'll browse for our DXF file. So I've got one called clan outline, for example. So we'll just say yes to that. Um, now it's basically looking at the, the DXF units, millimetres, and you can specify this. This must match with the design. Um, if I haven't got incremental addition enabled, um, it will create a new board file. So in this example, I want to add the DXF file to this board file. Um, the default text table, um, basically if you have text in your DXF, it will use what's available in the default text setup sizes, and you can obviously fill shapes as well. Uh, I'm just going to use the incremental addition in this option. I then need to effectively do a layer conversion file. So I need to map the DXF layers to the layers that I want inside PCB Editor. So we'll click on edit the view layers. I only have one DXF layer called zero, and then I can pick effectively the class and subclass that I want the DXF layer to go to. So I'm going to choose board geometry and outline. We'll then click OK, and we will then import the DXF file. So you can see it then brings in my, my objects on that design. Let me just go to the German edit mode, make sure my farm filters are enabled. And then, so it's brought the items in onto the board geometry outline layer, so I can then manipulate the data as I need to. So let's just say I wanted to, um, let's find the complete board for example, maybe do an exported version of some DXF. So I want to send something out to the mechanical engineer. So what you need to do here is um, the, the best method is to turn all the layers off and then only turn the layers on that you wish to export in the DXF. So if I go to the geometry, maybe turn on the cutout, the design outline, um, maybe I want the assembly top, I want the assembly bottom, I want some component text, so we use effectively the assembly bottom text and the assembly top text. Uh, and I'm also gonna turn on uh, the top pins and the bottom pins. So that's effectively all the data that I wish to export. So once I'm happy with that, so I set the colors up, I then go to export MCAD DXF, give it a name. So I'm gonna call this Steve. Uh, you can pick the DXF format that you want to use. Revision 12 is fine. I can then edit the layer conversion file again. So in this example, these are the names of the classes and the subclasses. What DXF layer name do I want to give? So in this example, I'm just gonna say select all and use the layer name and then click on map and it then makes an abbreviated DXF layer name based on these. And you can, you can use subclass only if you wish to. Click okay. And then you have different options here. Um, you can either you know, export symbols as blocks so it will keep the symbol as a block in, in DXF. You can do fill pads, fill solid shapes, etc. I'm not gonna bother with any of those. I'm just gonna click on export and it would then export that DXF file from me. So I'm just gonna launch something like FreeCAD file open change the type down to DXF and then browse to where my file is there's my Steve DXF file that I just created click on open and there's my exported DXF file